astronomers discover a mystery object beyond Neptune with a weird unexplained orbit. An astronomer at Queen's University Belfast tweeted, I hope everyone has buckled their seatbelts because the outer solar system just got a lot weirder. That's what Michelle Bannister, astronomer at uh, Queen's University Belfast said. She was referring to the discovery of a TNO or trans-Neptunian object, something which sits beyond Neptune in the outer solar system. This one is 160,000 times fainter than Neptune, which means the icy world could be less than 200 kilometers in diameter. It's currently above the plane of the solar system, and with every passing day, it's moving upwards, a fact that makes it an oddity. The trans-Neptunian orbits, or TNO orbits, in the plane that's tilted 110 degrees to the plane of the solar, our solar system. What's more, it swings around the sun backwards, unlike most of the other objects in the solar system. So in this in mind, the team that discovered the TNO nicknamed it Niku, after the Chinese objective for rebellious. Rebel, rebel. To grasp how truly rebellious it is, remember that a flat plane is the signature of a planetary system as a star-forming gas cloud creates a flat disk of dust and gas around it. Angular momentum forces everything to have that one spin direction all the same way, says Bannister. It's the same thing with a spinning top. Every particle is spinning the same direction. So that means anything that does not orbit within the plane of the solar system or spins in the opposite direction must have been knocked off course by something else. It suggests that there is more going on in the outer solar system than we're, f we're fully aware of, says Matthew Holman at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, part of the team that discovered NICU using the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System 1 survey, or PANSTARS for short, on Haleakala in Maui. And it's the unknown that excites astronomers. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The unknown excites astronomers. Whenever you have some feature that you can't explain in the outer solar system, it's immensely exciting because it's, in some sense, foreshadowing a new development. This is what Constantine Badigan at Caltech says. Now, what about Planet Nine? Well, he should know. Badigan was one of the two astronomers who earlier said, announced that the presence of another highly inclined group of objects could be pointing towards a larger undiscovered world, perhaps 10 times as massive as our Earth, lurking even farther away, the so-called Planet Nine. They call it Planet Nine, so they don't call it Planet X. Now, upon further analysis, the new TNO appears to be part of another group orbiting in a highly inclined plane, so Holman's team tested to see if their objects could also be attributed to the gravitational pull of Planet Nine. It turns out Niku is too close to the solar system to be within the suggested world sphere of influence, so there must be another explanation. The team also tried to see if an undiscovered dwarf planet, perhaps similar to Pluto, could supply an explanation, but it didn't have any luck. Holman says, we don't know the answer. Bannister could not be more thrilled. She said, it's wonderful that it's so confusing. I'm looking forward to seeing what the theoretical analysis do once they get their hands on this one. But Batikin is not jumping up and down just yet. He says, as they say in the paper, what they have right now is a hint. He says, if that hint develops into a complete story, that would be a fantastic thing. This is by Shannon Hall, New Scientist on Bedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.